All right, guys, so my 2020 Offensive Rookie of the Year is going to have to be Justin Jefferson. He has the best stats out of any wide receiver in the 2020 NFL Draft class. I know that's not saying much considering the offensive team he had around him, but still, I will take 1,500 receiving yards and 18 touchdowns any day of the week. Justin Jefferson is best known for the slot, and really only the slot. I feel, however, he can be as good or even better than a prime Edelman. With the absence of Stefan Diggs, Jefferson can put up some big numbers in Minnesota. Not to mention, you know how much Kirk Cousins likes to throw those short passes. What separates him from the guys like CeeDee Lamb or Jerry Judy is the fact that he was a late rounder and that will give him some late round motivation and the fact, remember the last wide receiver took it in the first round from LSU, it was Odell Beckham Jr. So my 2020 Defensive Rookie of the Year is not even a stretch, like how you can call my Justin Jefferson pick. It's Chase Young, the number two pick in the draft. I'm not going bold on this one. The dude put up NFL stats in college with 16 sacks, and now Washington, the Washington football team, has their big three. So I could easily see Chase Young taking the Defensive Rookie of the Year. My 2020 Comeback Player of the Year is Big Ben. Now, no surprise here, I think he is the most likely to win this award. Um, you could give it to Gronk or other people, maybe even Cam Newton, you know, because he's with the Pats now and, you know, maybe Belichick has some magic. But with Big Ben, you know, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer and he has a great O-line, young receiving core and a great defense behind him. I could easily see the Steelers making the playoffs and Big Ben, you know, getting comeback player of the year like, you know, Phillip Rivers did when he sucked for two years and then he won comeback player of the year um ben's coming off an arm injury an elbow injury so yeah that's gonna be my comeback player of the year prediction big ben my 2020 coach of the year is sean mcdermott i feel like the bills are gonna have a great year next year i think um bold prediction they'll have a better record than the ravens and i really believe that this defense is stacked they don't really have an elite pass rusher Great secondary, great linebacking core. The offense is just getting started. I felt like Frank Gore was somewhat holding them back last year. They couldn't have Devin Singletary to his full potential. Um, and with the addition of Zach Moss, who might even beat Singletary out for the job, I feel like their run game will be strong. I mean, adding Stephon Diggs only boosts your passing offense. Um, John Brown played amazing last year. Um, super underrated in Arizona. And Josh Allen... Um, not the most accurate quarterback, but he has a strong arm and is becoming a better pocket passer. I feel like the Bills will shock everyone, and then they're going to give the coach of the year to Sean McDermott. Plus, without Tom Brady in the division, and without, you know, like with the Dolphins and the Jets, you know, still rebuilding and all this, I think the Bills, this is their best chance to go 12-4, and four, or at least win the division, and Sean McDermott wins coach of the year. All right, so my Offensive Player of the Year was a tough decision. I could go with my MVP prediction, but I'm just going to keep them different. I'll say Derrick Henry here. The dude's had more rushing yards than any running back in the last two years, and that's a saying a lot because his first year, he didn't really start get go start getting going until like week eight or something. So Derrick Henry had 18 rushing touchdowns last year, led the NFL in rushing yards. I feel like he's going to have a great year now that they have their quarterback. It's going to take some of the attention off of Derrick Henry. Um, he's the hardest player to tackle in the whole entire NFL. Um, ask, or ask Earl Thomas that. <laughs> um, as a Seahawks fan, that pained me to say that. Um, I, I just really think Derrick Henry is going to win Offensive Player of the Year. Hard, hard to tackle. Going to be getting him carries. He's now paid. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be my pick. Derrick Henry. Um, I feel like he's going to outperform McCaffrey and Barkley, or has the chance to. Not the best pass catching back, but hey, whenever he has the ball in his hands, he's hard to tackle. One of the best stiff arms in the NFL, and if healthy and plays 16 games, because he only played 15 games last year, he's going to put up stats. All right, my defensive player of the year, I know a lot of people are going to say Miles Garrett. That's the popular vote right now, because I feel like every year he's in that discussion. Um, as long as he doesn't hit Mason Rudolph in the head, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, my defensive player of the year is going to be TJ Watt. I feel like the, the Watts are going to be the first brother pair to win both win defensive player of the year ever in the NFL. No brother pair has ever won defensive player of the year. JJ and TJ will now have that if TJ ends up winning. 
But I'm going to go with TJ. He's improved every single year he's been in the NFL. That Pittsburgh defense is stacked right now. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they do not pull like a Bears, you know, where they're just offense can't put up anything. So that comes on the on and off their defense and then their defense does like gets overshadowed because of how bad their offense is but i don't think big ben can do that i mean big ben is my comeback player of the year but tj watt expect a 17 plus sack season if he stays healthy and yeah tj watt is my defensive player of the year prediction my mvp is russell wilson now I'm going to talk to you guys about who it was before, but then you can thank Colin Coward to why I changed my pick. Before, probably back in early J July, late June, sometime around there, I was making a bold prediction that Drew Locke would win MVP, but then Colin Coward picked him. I'm like, never mind that. But I know people are going to think I'm biased here, but Russell Wilson's never received an MVP vote. I think he's a safe choice here. Um... Last the first seven games last year, he threw 22 or or had 22 total touchdowns and no picks. He came off at um, near the end, not as good. I think he had the same amount of passing touchdowns as interceptions, but he was playing really good teams. Um, in the playoffs, he played good. Really bad coaching, you know. I bet we could have made it far. If our offensive coordinator just ran the offense through Wilson. Um, but I feel like Russell Wilson has. All the talent in the world to win MVP. Um, with the receivers he has now, Metcalf, Gordon, and Lockett, well, he had them, but you know what happens with Josh Gordon in the NFL nowadays. Chris Carson's going to be back. That's going to help Wilson. Hopefully, he comes and he's full health, fully healthy because Carson has been missing training camp due to family reasons. Um, defensively, I mean, we have no pass rush. I could see our defense sucking, and then Wilson has to put up so much points on offense that's another reason i think he's going to win mvp because if you look at mahomes mahomes don't have a bad defense we don't really have a bad defense either we don't have a pass rush and you need a you need a pass rush in the nfl um you can't it's hard to just have one secondary and no not an at least decent pass rush just look at tampa bay they had a great um pass rush or no a great run defense and their passing defense last year was awful Anyways, my MVP is Russell Wilson. He's going to win his first MVP, according to me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what you agree and disagree with.